Hello Coolers, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to the home of everything Barcelona where we are going to be discussing on the latest stories. We start with this report claiming that Elche will receive 20% of the future sale of Barcelona young star Alex Collado, confirms club president. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about Diogo Dalot of Manchester United as it has been reported that United will activate a one-year contract extension for the Barcelona target. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, before we get right into the story info, please do ensure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Alex Collado was one of several FC Barcelona young stars who left the club for a loan spell elsewhere this past summer. The exciting playmaker joined El Shea on a season-long loan in an attempt to prove himself at the highest level of football. Collado was already coming on the back of a promising spell at Granada and as such, the move to El Shea was seen as an ideal move for the young star. Two months into his spell at Elche, though, Collado is yet to make the desired impact so far. He has only appeared in four league matches, scoring just one goal. In fact, the 23-year-old is yet to feature in any of Elche's last three league matches. Despite his poor start of the season, though, Elche appeared to have inserted a crucial clause into his contract that will see them earn 20% of the income from any future sale of the player by Barcelona. This was confirmed by Elche president Christian Braganic as relayed by Mundo Deportivo. The club president went on to confirm the fact the Spanish outfit do not retain any clause to buy the player permanently after the end of his loan spell. He said, to bring players to our club from important teams, we have to have some option or right over the player because if it is not like that, the only advantage we have is the one that participated with us, he said. Barcelona for Japan rate Collado quite highly. The Spaniard is regarded as one of the most exciting young players to come out of the club's famed youth academy. He was even backed by Xavi to make an impact in the first team this season. But the club ultimately had to sanction a loan for the former Granada starlet due to a stockpile of options in the midfield department and also in attack. However, given the way he has started the season, right, the youngster must quickly recover his form if he is to establish himself as a key figure in Jorge Alimiron's setup. In the summer transfer window that just passed, we saw Barca loaning out a lot of their young stars, which definitely at the time you can say yes, it's a good decision to do so because if they stay at the club, they won't have the regular playing time that they need in their careers to grow. Players like Nico, you know, Ayes Collado, Ace Abdey, those players were all loaned out, which was a, definitely a great decision because the squad was full of players and definitely you need to reduce them and also contain the wage bill, which some of them, even though to be honest, most of those players have not been doing well. I don't think the Barca board will be happy with the, with the performances of some of our young stars on loan, which we, we, we wanted them to perform well because in the future, they, we need them back because that's the use of a loan move. You go out there, you make an impression to the manager. Uh, even though I will not really blame all of them 100% because their managers have not been giving them that that um, that, that trust. You know, Alex Collado, for one, as we are talking about, has not been playing recently. The last three games for LJ, Collado has not played any single game. Um, he has not been on the best. Maybe that the manager put him in on the bench maybe because he's not doing that well. The same thing we've been talking about Nico Gonzalez as well. Nico Gonzalez has not been doing so well. Gattuso himself confirmed yesterday in his press conference that Gattuso, um, Nico Gonzalez needs to, to, to work harder in training in order to get more minutes. So, but as a Barca fan, I'm not too happy with the fact that our players on loan have not been playing so well, so much or so well as well. Uh, definitely, they have to perform well if they want to stand a chance of playing because all of them. Their dream is to play for the Barca first team. They were trying to force themselves there last time out, so there was no way. Xavi tried to, you know, they took them 
to training in the United States when it comes to preseason. But um, when we consider the kind of players we signed, quality players, it means that there, were, there was no chance for those players to to stay or to remain put at the first team setup. So Barca had to loan them out. Um, I think so far, Ace Abde in Osasuna is doing a great job. He's playing too well. He has been playing more minutes than the other players on loan. And definitely, if he continues like this, I think Xavi himself will contemplate bringing him back to the Camp Nou maybe next season. So, let's see how it goes. Elche themselves are really wise because the president of Elche confirming that the club, will they will definitely receive 20%. They will receive 20% of the future sale of Collado, even though he's on loan. So, if Barca one day sell Collado permanently, um, Elche will receive 20% of that transfer fee which I think is a wise clause from them. Then on to the next story of discussion. Manchester United will activate the one-year extension embedded in the contract of Diogo Dalot as they are wary of the interest from La Liga heavyweight Barcelona, according to ESPN. Dalot has finally established himself as the first choice right back at Old Trafford after having had to beat you know, his time. Since joining the club in 2018, the Portuguese international has been impressive through this season for club and country and his performances have led to interest from Barcelona. Even though the Blaugrana signed Hector Bellerin last summer, they will be in for the market for another right back in 2023. This is because both Bellerin and Sergio Roberto will be out of contract at the end of the season. And as per recent reports, Diego Dalot has emerged as the priority right back target for Barca. The 23 year old is understood to be, you know, to fit the profile that manager Xavi is looking for, while his contract situation also makes him an enticing prospect. Indeed, the former FC Porto started scoring contract with United stands to expire at the end of the ongoing campaign, and Barcelona are believed to have made contact with his entourage over a possible bossman move next year. And in order to avoid such a possibility, the Red Devils will now trigger the one-year unilateral contract extension option to secure its future until 2024 at least. It will mean that Barcelona will be unable to sign Diego Dalot on a free transfer next year, although they could still make an attempt to land him for a reasonable fee, given that he will have, move, he will have only 12 months left in his contract. It has been suggested that a fee of 25 million euros could be needed for Manchester United to sell the Portuguese international. Whether Barca would be willing to shell out that sum for the 23-year-old or look elsewhere remains to be seen. For now, Manchester United will extend its contract by another year. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.